The ruling coalition member and others are unhappy on how IEC reviewed and altered the electoral constituencies of Lesotho. Provided that the number of inhabitants of or above the age of 18 years of any constituency shall not exceed or fall short of the population quota by more than 10%. A unanimous decision by the High Court, sitting as a constitutional court, says IEC has violated the 10% margin in the 20 constituencies where the population threshold may not be above or below a prescribed quota, a red line not to be crossed casually. The imperatives of the rule of law demand that crossing this red line be declared null and void in terms of Section 2 of the Constitution. Therefore, the court does not accept that the justification by the IEC is constitutionally permissible. The permissible justifications in the Constitution are only provided in respect of limitations of fundamental human rights and freedoms in the Bill of Rights. Outside the Bill of Rights, the Constitution does not brook any justification for its breach. This case is an acid test for IC's preparedness to hold up coming 2022 national elections in the coming next few weeks. The only way to correct uh, uh, this, the, the non-compliance is to actually make the updated uh, uh, um, uh, constituent limitations, considering the latest census. And the complainants feel vindicated as IEC is forced to the drawing board. We have been telling them this. So they went ahead, they ignored us, here we are now. There is no way they can touch the 20 non-compliant constituencies without doing something with the compliant, uh, uh, with the 60 compliant uh, constituencies. So it is their task. I'm not going to speak for them. They will see what to, uh, how to go about it. IEC has not been immediately available for a response, except for that it wants to study the judgment and make a much more informed decision. Meanwhile, many political parties will have to make necessary adjustments in time to meet the October 7th polling day. Rabelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserole Soto.